So before we get into talking more about Bray Wyatt and Edge, is he going to AEW or WWE? Real quickly, I just want to make this real quick. I have moved everything back to my main channel. I've gotten rid of RevSauce TV Gaming and RevSauce TV IRL. I've heard the feedback. I've listened to you guys, and a lot of you have told me you just want one channel with a little bit of everything from me. You like the chaotic mix-up channel with food, beverage, tech, uh, unboxing, anything. So I'm going to do that with wrestling and sporting talk and all that. So I hear you, and some of you were very confused, and you know I apologize for that. I'm bringing live streams back to this channel, gaming live streams. So you're going to get that daily from me here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try to get to a thousand subscribers. I hear you. You guys want it. I'm going to bring it better than ever. And there's going to be a lot more stuff. I just been inundated this week, guys still bouncing back from hurricane Hillary, the tropical storm we had. We got another one coming in, possibly getting prepared for that stuff, cleaning out so much stuff. I've been so busy trying to catch up on the days I've missed. It's just been one mess after another. So I apologize for all the inconveniences. If you see a lot of uploads happening on my channel, it's just I'm bringing back older videos. And a lot of it's going to say older videos in the description for you guys. So you guys don't think I'm just throwing up somebody else's content. No, it's my own content. It's from Rafe Realm. And you guys are going to get them all in, in uh, different, you know, playlists and stuff. So when it comes to two gulps, it's going to be a new series coming. So I'll have two gulps. It'll just be rev edition and then you'll see rev devours that'll be my new food and eat and dining you know playlist and things like that so uh a lot of things changing for me on this channel i appreciate all the feedback love you guys i love 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 all the feedback man and be a voice on my channel please you know like i will tell this to anybody be a voice on my channel i would always appreciate that because i always want to hear feedback from you guys you know it means the world to me um, especially when it comes to capture cards to anything, my audio, anything like that recommendations, always recommend me something as long as it's not like politic or religious stuff, anything else, but those two things, I'm okay with that. Recommend me something cool. Anime wise, things like that. Anyway, let's get into talking about edge. Is he going to stay with WWE and sign that extension that's in his, uh, inbox or is he going to go to AEW? Now, there's a lot of conflicting reports. He put a lot of things to bed today, which I respect Edge to pieces. Edge reminds me of a fun dude. I, I got a chance to meet him, you know, after a SmackDown back in the day. He's a really humble, nice guy. Really, really cool dude. Um, Hands down, one of the best wrestlers out there. I would honestly say he's a legend in his own right. If I had to put him up there with John Cena and all that, I would. He is that much of an entertainer. He's that good of a dude. The Rated R Superstar will always be in my top 10, will always be one of my favorites. Um, Edge and Christian, the Hardys, uh, the Dudley Boys. If this is a, an end to his career, then so be it. I want to see what he's going to do. He's doing movies, he said, you know, within that X uh, social media thing that he had going on today little video live stream whatever he said he's doing movies he's got some shows in the works he you know he's a full-time dad he's just happy to be a dad and doing the things and watching his kids grow up and all that with Beth Phoenix you know he you know Adam Copeland is just a good dude overall I, and he's into video games he said whatever floats his boat he's gonna go in and be happy and be and put 100% of himself into it you know what I mean so at the end of the day like I said I would like to see him maybe do something with Christian over at AEW. That's just my personal opinion. I kind of could see him going back to WWE. I could see him sign maybe a two or three year more deal, make as much money and get a good part-time schedule, kind of like AJ Styles. I could see that, but I honestly think he wants to go for the flash in the pan and prove himself one more time. I think he's going to go to AEW. I think AEW is going to sign him for a bunch of money. And I really think we're getting a uh, facade here. We're getting a facade. I think we're getting swerved. I think we're going to see him in all in. I I really, uh, really think we're going to see him in all in. I, I, I still have that belief. Um, I think his contract is done. I think he'll put ink to paper at all in or all out. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I'd be okay with that either way because they got stadium shows still to go. 
with Grand Slam. I could see him doing something major for Grand Slam. Um, what does he come in as, the Brood Edge, or does he change his name to the Cutting Edge? What does he do as far as names going into AEW? What kind of music is he going to have? Is he going to use Alter Bridge? Is he going to use some you know, metal music? What is he going to use going forward? If he goes back to WWE, we already know what we're getting with Edge. Maybe we get a different, you know, maybe we get Brood Edge more. Maybe we get special things with Edge. I would really like to see him in AEW. And that's not that's not because um that's not because oh I'm all about AEW and, and people think I'm an apologist and a fanboy for the product. No. I think Edge could be pushed to the moon and back in AEW more than he could in WWE. And I think he could be a you know a T uh T N T champion, tag team champion. I honestly think he could be a world heavyweight champion. Um if they wanted to make him international champion, they could. You know, I could see him taking the belt off of Orange Cassidy. I could see him being against Jungle Boy. I could see a lot of different things for Edge over in AEW more than I can with WWE. There's nothing there in WWE for him at the moment. You, What are you going to book him in beating Gunther? No, you're not. Are you going to have him win a United States title with that roster being stacked? And you know, there's a lot of people going for the United States belt. No, you have a whole thing with Priest going on. You know, to me, I feel he would be more set for AEW and their roster. Uh, you could pencil him in going against the real world champion, uh, CM Punk. You could start that feud real quickly, right off the rip. You can have him go against uh, MJF. You can have a lot of, you could pencil Edge into a lot of things. I think he deserves a lot of money. I think he's paid his dues enough. I think he's got a good three more years left into him. I think, honestly, you give him the send off you need. I think AEW could do that for him more than a WWE. I think WWE has too many moving parts right now within different title sides of things. He's not going to NXT and winning a North American belt. That's beyond him. You know, that's above him. I wouldn't want him going winning an NXT belt. He needs to go and win a main card title, and I think he's got a lot to prove, and I think AEW would work perfect. If he really wanted to, Edge can swerve us and go to Impact. I could totally see it if he really, really wanted to go prove himself and make, you know, a little less money and go and do impact if he wanted to. He said he likes the impact roster in the past. So I really do see him either in AEW or WWE, though. Um, he said he had a time of his life in WWE, and, you know, you got to give him that. You know, he didn't leave it bad terms with WWE. You know, a lot of wrestlers say that. AJ Styles has said that. You know, like he's happy with a with WWE and AJ Styles has been on the record saying he was offered by AEW. And again, AJ Styles stayed with WWE. And I think if I'm Edge, Edge likes a fun time. I think AEW can give him what he wants. I think the requirements that were happening over at WWE that he was asking for got denied. He won't say that, but. He says they're on good terms. You don't want to spark drama just in case, you know, he does sign that extension and all this and he can get a push and stuff like that. I think he's AEW bound more. I think AEW can give him what he's looking for. That's just my personal opinion. I may be wrong, but I think he's more AEW bound. I think uh, they need him. They need him and a Bill Goldberg, honestly. Um, right now, their roster is depleted. Without Danielson, you need those flash in the pan, catchy names. That could pop a ratings view, and I think Edge could do that for them real quickly. I honestly think with uh, Edge possibly signing AEW, with Danielson coming back, I think with your roster getting 100% all out will look really good, and I think future shows will look really good. And, and if you're going to do stadium shows going forward, you know, that Warner and Discovery want, you would want people like Edge. You were going to want the sexy names like Bill Goldberg. You're going to want to bring in some of the roster that, you know, like you're going to want to sign a Will Ospreay. You're going to want to offer these people big money, and that's just the way it's going to be. AEW needs the big stars right now. Yes, they have MJF. Yes, they have, but they don't have the big name, big names. Like, yeah, they have Adam Cole. Yeah, they, they have literally hardcore fan, indie darling, you know, you know, didn't pan out in WWE. They need like an Adam Copeland. They need big names, sexy names right now. Don't get me wrong. I think Christian's a sexy name, but he's not an edge. They need him. 
I think AEW will go and try to give him a big deal. Um, for how many years and what he's looking for, I hope he does sign with AEW. I could see him being penciled in immediately for TNT belt. I could see him fighting Darby. I could see him fighting a bunch of stuff. I could see him doing many different things in AEW. Matt Hardy and Edge going at each other. I know they have both lost a step, but that would be a good feud. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Edge and Christian versus, you know, Hardy Boys, lost a step match. I could see that. Um, again, nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia all day long for me. I think Edge, you know, hey, give him his what he wants. If he doesn't want to do as many dates and be with his family, I think AEW can do that and pay him a bunch of money to do so. I think they could do what they did with Danielson to begin with with Edge. And I think Edge could be a coach for AEW. I think they could pay him to be a producer or a writer. There's so many things you could do with Edge that WWE can't. And I think the money's there for Edge to go sign with AEW. I think AEW should pull the trigger here. This is a move AEW should go do. Like, don't, I love RVD, and I like the idea of RVD being in, in uh, AEW. He's not an Edge. Edge is, 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 is in the uh, echelon of John Cena to me. You need to go sign Edge if you're AEW. It would be a mistake if they didn't. You know, at least uh, Tony Khan should. And Tony Khan should sign some of the big names. Like you got sitting there, Kyrie saying we don't even know if she's going to be WWE bound or AEW bound. Conflicting reports. You got Monet sitting in the background coming off of injuries. She's still, I think, recovering and whatnot. So Monet, you know, that's another one you go and sign. Hands down, w AEW's got money to throw around. They should. They need a women's roster. They need bigger names, and, and they need to. You know, five years in or four years, five years in, they got to do. Now they're doing bigger shows. They need these big names. And if I'm them, I go after Drew McIntyre next. Bring in Drew Galloway. Drew McIntyre said he's not renewing with WWE. He has said that on the record. So anyway, let's get into talking about Bray Wyatt for a second. I know a lot of you uh, in my comment section has said things about Bray Wyatt and a lot of it's rest in peace. Um, again, he had COVID. And now it's coming out. New reports are coming out that WWE was shielding the audience from what was going on. And it looked like he was turning the page and he crumbled, unfortunately. And I'm lucky that COVID didn't take me. It's not having the symptoms. It's after the fact. A lot of people don't realize it's after the fact. You may get a light version. I got the brunt force of it, the, the hardcore version. And us bigger people... We get it really, really, really bad. And, you know, my mom's had it bad. My aunt's had it bad. Bigger people that are overweight get it bad. Bray Wyatt was a bigger dude. Yes, muscular to an extent, but a bigger dude. And his heart just gave out from symptoms from it. It put a strain on his heart, and that's what happened. Unfortunately. It's so sad. Um, I was really thinking he was going to turn the page and come back. I, I was hoping for the best, but expecting the worst in a lot of ways because when the reports were coming out, they were saying heart conditions, and it kind of reminded me of Brody Lee. It really screamed Brody Lee to me, and unfortunately, Bray Wyatt's gone, and Brody Lee had lung and heart issues and towards the end, and, you know, again— Nobody's talking about that, but that's what COVID does. It destroys your vascular system and could hurt your heart too. So that's why I always care about your health, man, because you never know, man. You never know in this life, you know. But as I said, it's so sad what's going on with Bray Wyatt and stuff like that. But anyway, my name is Rev Sauce. Like I said, I love I loved Bray Wyatt. I wanted him, you know, to come back stronger than ever. And unfortunately, here we are. Unfortunately, you know, we're going to have about a week of moaning, moaning, mooring. I can't say the word. <laughs> we're going to be mourning over his death. And I, I guarantee they're going to do something at all in for him. And, you know, AW typically will do something and then they'll do something for. um. They'll do something on SmackDown for him tomorrow. Guarantee it with Terry Funk. And I heard somebody I, I was reading in com. Nobody's talking about Terry Funk. That's also sad, too. Terry Funk's a fucking legend. I don't care who you are. Bray Wyatt will go down as a legend. 
And I hope he does get in the Hall of Fame of WWE one day. You know, he did amazing work when he was in WWE. The Wyatt family was a great thing. Unfortunately, they could do it up in heaven together, uh, him and Brody Lee. Anyway, my name is Rev Sauce. Everything will be down below to me, all my game streams and stuff. I'm going to go ahead to game stream. I'll see you guys uh, on my live stream on YouTube. I'll see you. Have a good one.